Mate, not bad, eh? at uh, number nine. Name? Call yourself Rose. This one? What do you think? This looks like a print. How is she? Alive. Must be jealous, rival. This is Gelang. A TV show. It's all part of our recruitment program. But sir, why him? Miss Teo thinks that Inspector Chin is the best-looking one of us all. So, with all due respect, we Besides, really... she asked for your help. Very convincingly, I might add. So, what about all our other cases? You should be able to tie up this project in a few days. What's your problem? You sure he's the best-looking one, aren't but the tissue scarring, she hasn't said much yet. Okay. Thank you. Hi. I'm Mr. 
Dr. Elaine Tay, and this is Corporal Hallam. Hi. We'd like to ask you a few questions. What is your name? Rose. I know that is your working name. Can you tell me your real name? Rose, did you see the person who did this to you? Why did she do it? Do you know where I can find her? Wait, wait, you cannot go in there, wait! This place, so hard to find. Excuse me? Who are you? CID, who are you? I'm a friend. I look after her. Hold day, huh? Yo, give me problems only, huh? You know someone called Candy? Candy? I know a lot of Candy. Which one you want? The one who did this to her. <sighs> Must be her. Where does she live? Why don't you come here? I whisper to you. You don't be funny with me, okay? You'll whisper here or in jail. It's okay. You have to leave now. Don't waste any more money on her. Get it out tomorrow. And you're in the CID for? Two years. What's this all about? What are your hobbies? Why are you asking me all this? It is to help me prepare your script. Oh. I box. My hobby, boxing. Right, pardon me. Do you have a girlfriend? Now what's that got to do with the project? The public wants to know. See? The room's so messy. She never cleans it. Looks like Candy left in a hurry. Can you check around? Okay. What time did she leave? I mean this morning. And did she say she was going anywhere? I mind my own business. So long she pays the rent. Inspector. Huh? Look. Excuse me. What? Competition records. Okay. You see her, you better call me. Where is she? Oh, 
I know. Better for her if I don't find her. Ten years ago, she do this kind of thing. She'll sure die. What? So Candy's hiding from you? I didn't say that. That was ten years ago, okay? Rose and Candy, do they get along or not? <laughs> Always fighting. If not over some client, something else. Huh? None of the girls know anything. What are you looking at? Sorry, sir. You were looking for me today. You're late. Anyway, I've been going through your records. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. Look at that guy. Just joined the force and he's already a sergeant. How long before you became a sergeant? Five years? Six. Look, Alan, it's not too late. The record is exemplary. Your experience is unparalleled. It would have mattered if you had an A-level. Think about it. Mm. What are you waiting for? Another one. Another what? Candy's been calling this number a lot. I wonder who it is. Maybe a client. Yeah, but she called so many times just yesterday alone. Could be just a regular client. Eat your food first, huh? Okay. You should have seen her yesterday on the bed, man. She looks bad. You've seen a prostitute beaten up before. Mm -hmm. Not like her, though. I wonder how she is. You know, I should stop this. Stop what? Stop turning your cases into missions. What are you talking about? You don't even know what these girls do. No one put a knife to her throat and said be a prostitute. She had a choice. And how do you know? You have a lot of prostitutes within your social circle of friends. When people are desperate, they do desperate things. I mean, men have known to gamble. Ah, men. Always men. Okay, if they have no money, they go and gamble. If they need to have sex, they go to Geelang, right? Hey, hey, you're talking to a gentleman here. Ah, is that so? Mm hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, you've been to Geelang on raids before, right? So? So? Don't tell me you've never been tempted. I don't want to argue with you. All I'm saying is, these women know how to handle themselves. They don't need your help. I will be the judge of who needs my help and who doesn't. Meanwhile, I'm going somewhere else to have my dinner. scarring, but I don't want you to worry about that. Mirror. Now, don't you think you should dress for a while first? Mirror. Get out! Get out! Get out! 
I'll get housekeeping. So, how was it? Not bad. Not good either. Why? What was wrong? He looked a little grim. But shooting people isn't a laughing matter. I know, but... I thought you wanted an accurate depiction of police life. Accurate? Yes. But a little sugar coating wouldn't hurt, would it? Then you won't be telling the truth. Mike, I picked you because you're handsome. You have a great body, and you look good on TV. But the truth is, not all police officers look like you. I'm just trying to make you look your best. That isn't so wrong, is it? It's not. Good. We'll try again. This time, with a little smile. Joe, set up for another shot. Same angle. Zoom in. Mike, you ready? You must have made a mistake. No mistake, Mr. Hing. You don't know anyone called Candy? No. I already told you. But she calls this office quite often. I don't know. Maybe she tried to buy a car. We're going to talk to your people. I'm trying to do some business here. Why must you make my life so difficult? All right, enough of the professional inspector, Michael Chin. Now, what we want to know is, with your kind of looks, you could have been an actor or even a model. So why a policeman? Well, like what they say, um, we're the home team. Here to make it right. Thanks for the commercial. <laughs> now, if you'll answer the question. Well, being a policeman is not about catching criminals. It's not just about danger. It's about making a difference in people's lives, making them feel safe and secure so that they can pursue their hopes and dreams. I didn't know that there's a point in you, Mike. Neither did I. Thank you. Cut! Well done! That was a really tough question. You handled it beautifully. <laughs> Next time we should do this live. So, uh, what now? Now you're gonna have a meal with me. After that, we'll continue recording. Oh. Financial business tiring already? Yeah, it's more than I expected. By the time I get through with you, Hang is hiding something. I know. I don't put pressure on him without any evidence. But I think someone in the brothel know who he is. You keep an eye on him. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you know what to do already. Right? Getting ready for night school? What are you doing here? It's on my way, so I bought you dinner. Why, trying them on for size? Yeah, try to find out what you always complain about. You're not nervous, are you? No, ah, nothing to be nervous about. Well, the other students in your class are going to be around my age. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I must do this. So, if you need any help in your schoolwork, just let me know. Oh, is it? So remember, we're never too far away. Good night. Okay, thank you, everyone. Oh. Oh. Just walk here tomorrow? Okay. Oh, Man, do I need a shower? Okay, thanks. My place is nearby. You can do it there. Oh, I don't have any fresh clothes. So, what is your point? Just look at your face. Okay, but, uh, thank you. Thank you. my offer still stands. Thanks, but 
No thanks. Good night. Hello, Tracy. Are we finished? I'm just beginning. Can I have a room? A room? For what? To use the mirror? Mr. Gunn said he wanted to see me again. Does he know what happened? But, but he said it doesn't matter. Like real? You and Candy, how are they give me problem? It's not my fault. What, not your fault? So quickly you forget who's your best girl. You dare talk back to me, huh? Uh, because of you, uh, everybody say I cannot control my girl. Me, you know. <laughs> Better earn me some money. Use the red room. You just call her on the phone. I prefer the personal touch. Why? If you want to leave first, you can go ahead, okay? I'm so glad you're here. I want to see your face. But you're not here for my face. I want to see your face. Get out. You can't even keep your regular customers. You're no good to me, you understand? <laughs> Another chance. Anybody give me a chance before or not? Huh? I lost everything. I'm not gonna lose it again, you understand? Is that so? Are you okay? Go in and find him. 
Go in. Clear your things out by tomorrow. Just shut up and go inside. You don't have to go back, you know. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. You have everything. Easy for you to say. What do you want? Do you know someone called Heng Li Kiang? Kenny's his mistress. What else can you tell me about him? Rich, talkative, not very good in bed. Did Candy also know that he was your client? And she got upset, right? Hey, you're not one of us, so you don't judge, okay? Have you told your parents about that? You crazier. Why don't you just go back to them? I haven't seen them for so long. Don't know if they still remember me. And you'd rather go back to Ahua instead? me about it. Hmm. Well, I guess I've been at it for too long. I need to take it easy. Let me show you the inside. Okay. The it looks very good. It's fully furnished. And the price is very cheap. Huh? not lie to the police, Mr. Heng. Talk rubbish! I got a wife and two children! Look, Mr. Heng, I'm not interested in your private life. What I want to know, have you seen this woman? I don't visit prostitutes! But people saw you! What people? Can you confirm or not? I'm warning you. If you don't go away, I'll call the police. I am the police. Mr. Lee, Inspector Tay, CID. What is it? I'd like you to meet somebody. Yes. Uh, it's me. I've come home. Me? Accident. Uh, what happened to you, me? But he threw acid on her face. Who? One of your useless boyfriend? Mr. Lee. You are the one in the news? The prostitute? I don't have daughter. Pa, it's me. You ran away. Never call back. You know your mom passed away. Eight months ago. You know or not? No, it's me. Luckily she died. Before she found out. Her daughter is a prostitute!
class, now we are touching on the subject of compound functions. We have shown that differentiation is distributive across addition and subtraction. That is, differentiation of function f plus function g is equal to differentiation of function f plus differentiation of function g. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Sorry. Um, can you say all again, please? Receptionist didn't see anything unusual. Who else knew she was here? Beside Heng, I can't think of anyone. You can go and bring him in for questioning. Okay. one who knew where she was hiding. But I didn't do anything. Then why did you go and see her? She rang me, said she needed money. You stayed with her for about 10 minutes. Enough time to kill her. No. I give her the money and I left. Oh, you better tell us the truth, okay, Mr. Heng? Okay. So I slept with her. So what? So what? You slept with Rose also, right? Ah uh, yeah, that was different. Just for one night only. Take a look at this. Have you seen that before? Don't shake your head. Look. No. I'm going to do you a really big favour, okay? I'm going to go out and have some kopi and you go and refresh your memory. Long enough. I'm sorry about yesterday. One year ago, I wanted to go home. I didn't go home. You know, we all make mistakes. I'm 
grandpa would come home drunk. He beat my sister and me. Ma would hug us and kiss us and make the pain go away. And now I'm all alone. You're not alone. Candy is dead. I know. Alpha told me. Where were you last night? You think I killed her? Please just answer the question. I was with you, remember? We left at 5.30. Where did you go after that? Back here. You don't believe me? Ask any of the girls. You're happy she's dead, right? But I didn't kill her. I want you to look at this. It's a piece of jade. Probably something the killer was wearing. It must have broken off in the struggle. Six inches in length. What's the cause of death? Slit throat. Probably after she's been rendered unconscious. See this? Yeah. Bruising around the stab area. Mm -hmm. Probably caused by the hilt of the knife. Whoever killed her was strong. Thank you, Dr. Sue. Who could have gotten to you? Before? They didn't find any print. Rose must be happy. Candy is dead. Doesn't matter. She already knew. How does she know? What? How does she know she's dead? Maybe she's the killer! It was something she said. What? A what? Hello, Inspector Tay? What? The shot is a medallion. Who are you talking to? Nothing. Rose? Rose? I wanted to tell you I'm leaving. You better go, I think she's in trouble. A white cube candy. Rose might be next. Don't come back.
Another girl, right? She had to die. Yes, she had to die. So now she's dead. Everybody knows you're really cool, but right? everybody's got respect for you. Now just give me the girl. Hearings next week. Are you ready for it? Yeah. And what are you gonna do after that? Well, if it goes well, I have some money. Maybe I can start a business. What sort of business? I don't know. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. MediaCorp Studios Production. 
for Channel 5.